What is going on, everybody? I've been getting a lot of comments, a lot of likes on my previous video on how to automatically DM everybody on Instagram. But I'm running into some issues. I think you guys are too. Um, and I've found a new way <clears throat> to get this done. So let's let's get into this, and I'm going to show you how this is done. And uh, it's going to be a little bit of coding, but I think you guys will be able to uh, manage. So start off the bat. Let's go to, uh, we're going to need a new Chrome extension. We're going to ditch the other stuff we have. So we're going to put in profile bud Chrome extension extract data. We're going to click on this first one. It's extract emails from Instagram. All right, so you are going to be adding the extension here, install it, get it going, go up here, get it running. It's going to ask you to log in. I'm going to use one of my alt accounts. Just uh, I would definitely recommend that too. Do not use your main because this will probably definitely get you caught by Instagram. We are going to be spamming as many people as you want in this point. So you can do 40, 50, 500, 5,000, 500,000 until Instagram stops letting you send messages. You'll keep, you'll keep hitting them. So all right. We have now hit, um, you know, we're, we, we've logged in. I've already done that. So log in to Instagram. It's going to pull you to this. You're going to be on the profile bud extension. We're then going to find user. <clears throat> so this is actually quite a nice little uh, program here. You can do whatever you guys want. Follower following, you know, specific posts, likes and comments. See, I like the hashtag. So we're going to go with hashtag. We do something as simple as like Fortnite. Um, and as you can see, there's 48.1 million posts. So you can literally pull 48 million people's Instagram tags. So I wouldn't advise that your computer will be running for days. Um, so I like to, you know, refine it down. We can do like home cooking, you know, something like that. Just depending on whatever your criteria is, you know, you can scroll down and find something that's a little, you know, a little bit more friendly. Like that home cooking adventure for only 40 14,000. So let's just go with uh, something that I know. I like Fortnite clan recruiting. So there's 10,000 there. Um, it's a nice little, nice little cue you're going to get. So here we go. We've pulled it up. We've now clicked submit. So what's happening here is now profile bud is pulling every single person that has posted something using this hashtag now it can be one of many hashtags um it can be you know it can just be a singular you know but either way we're going to pull about ten thousand different usernames right now so as you can see this thing's working and you can let this thing go for as long as you want but what i'm going to do is we're just going to make this easy so we're at 64 right now 72. we're going to download the data and now you can see it, it's it's loading up down here. So what we're going to do here is, is, is I want to cancel out of this. I don't want to just keep downloading on my computer. So once you're back at this screen, <clears throat> profile button stopped working and it's not just going to keep pulling this information. So we're going to open up this and it is going to do an Excel file. So again, we're going to need to, you know, have Microsoft Excel. Um, you're going to, this is definitely done easier on Microsoft applications. That's what I use. All right, perfect. So now we have opened up our Excel file and it's going to look something like this. You're going to want to, uh, you know, open up these as much as you can. This is just, I mean, I don't use B. C is the ID. Some people use that. You don't need to. But either way, I'm going to click the top link. This is going to be the username here. Go all the way to the bottom. Highlight them all. Control. Now what we need to do is we need to add a comma at the end of each of these usernames in order for this to work. This is the same thing as what we had to do last time. So we're going to open up uh, Notepad++. That's the easiest way I have found to do it. If you have another way of doing it, totally fine. Uh, you know, you might be able to do this in Excel. I'm really not sure. I don't feel like putting in the time to figure it out. So here we go. We're going to paste the usernames here. 
highlight all, control A, then control H. We're going to backslash R. We are going to make sure we're going to add a comma. We're going to have this selected, this selected, and make sure you click in selection. Now, normally that'll be unselected. So click that, replace all, boom, we're done. Close this. We're going to then copy this again. We are done. That's all we needed. We needed to extract the data. We need to be able to get um, a comma at the end of the username and copy the list down. So here we go. We are going to then move on to go back to YouTube and you're going to type in, um, you know, type in how to DM on Instagram automatically. Um, you know, you can basically just put this in how to DM on Instagram auto. And my video will be right down here, as you can see right here. But what I need you guys to do is we're actually going to go up here. Now, um, this guy, I've worked with him before. He's a great guy, super informed. This is going to be top-notch programmer. He is awesome, um, definitely super informative. I want you to click on this one, Instagram DM bot, send direct message with Python bot. So again, this is going to be a little bit coding. You're going to have to do, uh, you know, a little bit uh, – a little bit of downloading, probably a little bit of learning, but I want you guys to come here and follow this guy's video. Give him a like, give him a sub. He's awesome. Um, you know, we're, he's tr just starting out too. Really super helpful. I've gave uh, you know I've gotten in touch with him. He's giving me feedback on his programs. It's great. I need you guys to type this into your URL. It's GitHub.com. Uh, Ridian, Mark U, Instagram slash DM slash bot. And you're going to need to download this whole thing. Now, this is easily explained in the YouTube video that I told you guys to watch. Again, this guy is awesome. I've used him before. As you can see, these things are just a few months old. So we're pumping along. We're keeping this stuff up to date for you guys. It's awesome. So we're going to download this thing. Um, basically, you're going to do this. I download it as a zip. Boom, boom, boom. Gets it done. Makes it happen. Um, you're going to then put it out and get it onto your uh, desktop. So you pull it out on your desktop. I use Visual Studio Code. I highly suggest you guys downloading it either way. So you're going to have this pulled up. Again, you're going to watch the video, understand what's happening. You're going to have all of your criteria put in. You're going to have your Chrome driver um, put in. If you guys have any questions on that, please leave me a comment. I have no problem uh, showing you guys how to upload like Chrome driver, how to download these drivers, how to get them into your Python folder so everything's working efficiently. I can totally do that, but I'm just kind of giving you guys a full on, let's get this going. Let's show you guys how it's done. So um, again, we're going to do our requirements. We're going to have all this, all this done. Everything's done. Go to our user page. Uh, close that. All right. So now <clears throat> from our notepad that we have everybody, all of our usernames and from everybody that we have from notepad plus plus notepad two, we're going to copy and we are going to paste in users. Boom. We have it done. Make sure there's no extras, make sure there's no blanks, but we have 72 people. We are about to DM right now. So again, like I said, you can make this 10,000 long if you wanted. These, this Visual Studio Code is an infinite uh, lines, infinite. So let's see, where is it? We are then going to go to what you want to say. And again, uh, I'm just showing you guys. So we're just doing like a sub for sub. Uh, Throwing in the YouTube link, so as you guys can see, we, we can say all this stuff. We can put we can put in our links. Um, here's where we're putting in our username, putting in our password. I've blurred this out so you guys, you know, aren't jumping in. But again, this is just an alt account. I highly, highly recommend you you just make a new account. It's really not that hard. Just make a new account and start spamming this out. Whatever you got. So here's where our username and our password are. I've blurred that out for you guys. But again, you can put any message you want here, whatever you guys, you can be selling something, you can be trying to promote something, you can be trying to promote yourself, putting pictures to your websites, whatever you guys want to do. And so there we go. We have all this done and we are then going to make sure we save. That is definitely key. We're going to save, we're going to close, save, close. There we go. 
we now have everything up and running. I'm going to show you guys how this works. So we are going to be sure that we are in um, where we need to be. And again, if I need to show you guys how to do this, please just leave a comment. I'll walk you guys through every single step of this. I'm just trying to show you guys that it can be done, and this is how you can do it. So there's all of our users being pulled, and this is everybody we're going to be responding to. So again, we're gonna be using Chrome driver for this. You're gonna to need to have all of the extensions downloaded. We're gonna to need to have the drivers downloaded. You're gonna to need to know how to do that. I can run you through that. So here we go, it's logging into Instagram now. It will, you know, it's slowly moving. It'll get there. I'm sure that it will speed up if I wasn't recording my screen and probably maxing my uh, CPUs right now. It'd probably help if I didn't have the screen recording. I'm sure it'd be moving a lot faster. So I think that it's going to probably pull up my security here as usual. Nope, it didn't. And there we go. So here we go. We're starting right off the bat. And again, I'm not typing this. This is all done for you. So at this point, once this is running, I walk away from my computer. There it is. I knew that was coming. So at this point, I just walk away from my computer because I know this is going to just continuously go for 75 people. Um, <clears throat> the speed of it actually kind of helps in your uh, in your benefit here because if you just pump out like 100 of these in under you know 10 minutes, they're instantly banned the account. So by this kind of moving along as it does, again, we're using Selenium here. I don't know how well you guys are with coding, but it's it's not the fastest one that could be used. I think it's great. It's definitely more easily understood. Um, but here we go. As you can see, everything's being typed in. I'm just sitting here watching the screen just like you guys are. And so, again, I'm just promoting my YouTube. Hit me with the sub for sub. That's, you know... Why not? That's what we want. And these are a bunch of random people. You can you can do this any as many times as you want throughout the day. You can pull up a list of a thousand people and just, you know, do a hundred at a time and do it in sections. I also have a few alt accounts. I do this on different ones. Once uh, you know, one's not allowed to DM anymore. I'll just move on to the next one, get another 65, 70 people. You know, I try to uh switch it up by then, but Hey, it works. But all right, there you go. So as you can see, you know, we're moving right along here. We just uh, sent out our message to who knows who, Sinzo60, FPS. Wonder if he's really got it, you know. But all right, as you can see over here, this is our command prompt that's open. Um, we sending our message here, message sent successful. It's going to pull up our next guy in just a few moments. And this will run until Instagram won't let you. Let me know if you have any questions.